Peace and blessings, beautiful beings. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are doing well on this beautiful Sunday. Today is another solo date. I am really excited for this solo date I am curating for self. It's a way to self-care, to get into my creative mode, you know. On days like this, it's really foggy out today and usually these type of days make me want to just lay around and not do anything and just let the day pass me by. But I've been really craving painting and since I've been, since I've moved here, I literally have been wanting to paint the water landscape out there. And I would say this is gonna be officially my second painting I've ever done. My first painting is actually behind me. <laughs> that beautiful golden crown lady is literally the first painting that I did and I completed her last year. But if any one of you guys that are watching are any artists of some sort, you know that after a painting, you got a sign. And I was so convinced. I'm like, I don't want to sign it. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I never signed it because I was so specific on the paint that I wanted to paint it with. And we have ran out of gold paint. So eventually I told myself, okay, I'm going to go to Michael's and get gold paint. But I never did. So... Literally, I really don't know the exact date, you know, that I, that I finished that painting. It was in the afternoon, like maybe like between 4 to 5 p.m. However, I can't even tell you guys when I did it. So I want to do good today and literally sign my painting today. So I need to get to my goals. I need a blank canvas. Um, and I was actually going to get some more paints. I do have some paints at the house now, but they're almost done. So I'd rather get new paints now anyway. And I really only need about like four colors to paint this landscape. It's really going to be like dark blue, light blue, white, and black. Yeah. So I need black and white. I have the dark blues and the light blue. Um, so I'm gonna go to Michael's, but what's a little paint without a little wine? So we're gonna go to the wine store first and get us some good red wine. You know, if you know me, you know I love me some red wine. Um, and then we're gonna come back and start painting. I'm literally really excited to do this because I've been holding this off for so long. So, I'm excited, I'm excited. One, I wouldn't say that I'm an extravagant painter. I just do it as a type of hobby, a joy. You know, I am a creative musician, so I consider myself an artist. So why not dive into different types of artistry? You know what I mean? <laughs> so we're gonna go to the wine store first because it's closest, and then we're gonna go to Michael's, and then we're gonna come back and start at it.
but for this price we're gonna have to pass we are gonna have to pass i definitely wanted to get a stand but all artists lock half percent off artiste easels and tables so is this half percent off because i would get that for half off circle or square i'm thinking of circle Oh, we made it back home. We got everything we needed and we honestly wanted to paint outside. But look at this weather, y'all. Look at this weather. It's just not giving. It's not giving at all. Yeah, so we're not doing that. Cause look, like it's so foggy. Yeah, we're not doing that um i'm excited to paint so i actually did get this stand because it was half off and honestly like i'm not just gonna be painting this one time so why not make a one-time investment for a hobby that really might turn into a loving of mine so i'm really happy that i got this and I've never painted on a circular type of canvas. I was going for, you know, a regular square rectangle, but I'm like, everything is just like a circle of life. <laughs> I take everything symbolic. Um, so yeah, I got this and I'm just excited to start. So let's go ahead and get everything set up. You know, I'm gonna pour my wine, drink a little sun, sun, I'm gonna get it popping, okay. Having this though, just makes me wanna paint more. And you might be wondering, girl, why you had to get black and white then if you have this whole full of case? This isn't mine. I was, you know, gifted this. It was left at my house. So I'm definitely gonna take advantage of it. Um, and the black and white just was already used up. So I was just like, let me just get the actual colors that I needed. But this is definitely gonna make me start wanting to paint more. So this is what we're gonna be trying to paint. It's not gonna seem like that much. We'll see how I do, okay? dry and I'll go over the dark areas more and hopefully create like a little bit of ripples <laughs> um and then and then have like the outline of this building I don't think I'm gonna do like the detail of that building but um yeah so far so great we're enjoying this wine we loving it we love this day <laughs> Good thing I'm just doing this for me and I'm not really doing it for anybody else, but I definitely could have left out the warehouse building. Like I was definitely not as confident to paint like the building part. Um, so 
this is what I did so far. It's not like really bad, but it's not as good as I wanted it because I really don't know how to even do the building part. So I definitely could have just left that one out. But um, I'm going to leave this as is. <laughs> and I definitely should have just grabbed more portraits, more canvases, I mean, but we're going to leave this as is and just clean up because, wow, like painters really be getting messy out here, you know, but I'm going to wind it down. This was definitely good time to occupy my day. Um, I'm happy that I got things started. I'm happy that, you know, I have some paints and brushes that, you know, if I have another day where I'm free, I can definitely just get this going. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to paint just a little bit more um, just to see where I can go with this. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what, how I'm feeling. <laughs>